All right, we're taking a look here at Splat Expressions, and these provide a shorter expression for the for expression, which we just looked at. So what is a Splat Operator? A Splat Operator is represented by an asterisk. It originates from the Ruby language, and Splats in Terraform are used to roll up or soak up a bunch of iterations in a for expression. So here is an example where it's for list sets or tuples. So here we have a list. And the idea is that we're iterating over uh, this ID, or in this case, we're iterating over um, a, its objects, or sorry, an array, and then that array is containing a bunch of objects, and so we're accessing the name within it. And so instead of writing it like that, uh, we don't even have to use a for at all. What we can do is put this asterisk here, and this is going to equate to the same thing. So here, this is gonna return all the IDs, and in this case, it's going to return a, uh, all the lists and allow us to access um, the interfaces uh, along to the name, okay? So let's take a look um, at splat expressions uh, when we're applying them to lists. So if the value is anything other than a null value, then the splat expression will transform it into a single element list. If the value is null, then the expression, uh, the then the splat expression will return an empty tuple. And so this behavior is useful for modules that accept optional input variables whose default value is null to represent the absence of any value to adapt the variable value to work with other Terraform language features that are designed to work with collections. So I know that's a big mouthful. It's just kind of like an, uh, an edge case to these uh, splat expressions. This is not going to show up in the exam, but I just wanted to show it to you in case you're interested here. And just notice the splats being used over here. Okay.